it's really cold outside too. It's like 20 degrees. So I think that's a reason why a lot of older people are not coming out. They don't want to slip on the ice and they don't want to, because a lot of times in the thrift stores, you will see a lot of older people, um, you know, senior citizens, um, et cetera. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can find anything. I'm going to film if I do find something. But like I said, this is that type of store that um, I'm Italian, so I talk with my hands. This is the type of store where I don't really find anything all the time. But when I do, it's like really, really good, like Patagonia or something, or you know what I mean, like that. So, or Filson, or so, let's go. Here's a cool L.O. Bean. It's got a nice little Nordic Fair Isle snowflake but um i think i'm gonna pass on it it just doesn't have enough going on with it it's six bucks yeah i'm gonna pass on that here's another cool one it's a land's end made in usa it's a women's large but it's just like i don't know it's just too plain it doesn't seem like it would probably sell for anything all right so this is catalina jacker this is a 60s sweater um it's really cool i'm gonna make sure it doesn't have any holes on it this should sell for about 35 and up yeah, and look at the price on it, $7.99. Yikes. I do like to look in the glass area sometimes, but I try to stay away from glass. But sometimes you can find decent items. I try to stick with smaller items like, you know, but I did just sell some, some goblets, but they were like small goblets, like that size. So, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything. Okay, now I can't really tell if this is old or not, but this is just like Polo Sport. If it smells good, I might just get it. I know that these imposter colognes, they don't last long. And I'm going to scan these. There's two of them. I'm going to see what those are as well. And look what we found on the hat rack. Too bad it's not. Um, it's Oakland Raiders. It's not um, L.A., Los Angeles. So, you know, whatever. Still pretty cool. It's in pretty decent shape. I'm probably going to pick it up. I think all the hats here are like two bucks. All right, so I see these Big Smith overalls. Um, these are brand new with tags, zip fly bib. Um, they have a Walmart tag on them. I can't tell if that's an old tag. These are made in Russia. Um, they're not made in USA, so I'm not sure, but they're only five bucks, so I'm going to pick them up indubitably, indefinitely. Here's another good one you guys want to look out for. It's Brooks Brothers Golden Fleece. Um, there's all different type of fleece for Brooks Brothers. Um, this one is $5, but I think that this is only going to sell for like 20 because it is kind of plain. If it was like striped or plaid or had some type of design on it, I think I would get it, but I think I'm going to pass on that. And I did find these are Logo Athletics. These are full snap all the way down, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these. I'm not sure if these are vintage they're not made in usa but um they could still be vintage but they are new with tags that one's pretty cool but i think i'll pass polo mm. nah, there's an umbro umbro is like a really low-end brand now there's a ralph lauren another polo that one's cool 3x big and there's a 2x tall, but no, nah, they just look kind of, they look short. I'll pass. Also, I don't know about you guys, but if this sells for you, I don't really pick the Hugo Boss ones up anymore because they don't seem to sell. Um, I think the orange tag sells a little bit better. It's a little more recent. All right, after sifting through some of the women's stuff, I did find this really cool trying to get the logo the label there it is there it goes lands and this is an old vintage skirt made in usa i'm gonna grab this all right guys so not too bad in there i did pick up um i picked up a couple things that you guys didn't see you may have seen them in the cart um i went and picked up the big smith um i did see a yellow north face i think it was a um I forget what they're called. They're the ones that are worth the most. They're like they're like half fleece, half like nylon, like um, you know, like soft shell. Um, those are called. I can't remember what they're called, but they're usually worth like forty or fifty bucks. They're really good finds, 
it was an awesome color. It was yellow and black, but there was like this stain, this crust on it that was like, I just didn't think that it would come out, so I had to leave it. It was only, it was like seven bucks. And I uh, found a couple Harry Potter wands. The Harry Potter wands, um, I see somebody has one listed for $25, but they are selling for like 40, between 40 and $50 per wand, and I found two of them. So even if I sell them for $30 and charge shipping, I'll still make $60 off those two wands, and the rest, you know, the rest is history. You already know that, so... Um, notifications they always pop up when I'm recording so anyway I think I'm gonna hit like one more store and then I'm gonna go home but I have to go out to the next town to get to the next store so let's go all right so here we are we're at the next place I'm gonna kind of keep some of these places that I go to like on the download that way so that you know so I don't overcrowd them or I'm not trying to be greedy or stingy or anything like that just do the work yourself guys you know that's just that's the way it is. But um, I had to do the work myself. I had to find all these places. So that's what you guys got to do. Um, I think I'm helping enough by just letting you guys know what I'm picking up um, and what's selling for me and what should probably sell for you. Um, not saying that it's definitely. But um, anyway, I'm drinking this stuff. It's not too bad. I think it's it's pronounced by, I guess, bay or by something like that, but it is really good. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I've never tried it, but it actually is pretty good. I think they're like $2 a piece. Nowadays, you can't get a decent drink for less than $2. Like, it's just ridiculous, unless you do like a fountain or something. But anyway, I'm gonna go inside. We're gonna see if we can find something in here. I don't know how many other stores I'm gonna do. I don't know how much time I have. It is late already. It's almost 3.30. I don't wanna be out that late because when I get home, I list, so that's like another three hours, you know, sometimes four, sometimes I'll, I'll list, you know, 30, 40 items that night. But usually I list between 10 and like 20, 25, something like that. I usually don't list that many. I should be, but if I did do that, then I would be working till 12 midnight every night. And I just don't want to do that. I want to have some type of life. I like to at least be able to sit down at like nine o'clock between eight and nine to watch a movie or something else. If you guys are following the Wu-Tang saga, whatever, it's not, they're not even going to start, they're not going to start the season three um, until September. I was really, really disappointed. Like, oh my God, I have to wait till September just to watch another episode. It's insane. But the first two episodes were banging. If you guys are 90s babies like me, grew up in the 90s listening to Wu-Tang and Nas and, you know, Foo Schnickens and all that stuff. Um, that's the type of stuff that you want to watch. Um, absolutely. But let's go in the store. Let's find something else. Not to get off that top topic, but let's go see if we can find something. All right, so right in the door, I kind of knocked her all over. Knocked her crown off. Knocked her. This is a Shirley Temple Danbury Mint. Um, it's not really worth that much. It's worth like maybe like 50 bucks. So for $3, it's definitely worth it. I just don't want a shipper. All right, so far we got a Joseph A. Bank, um, navy blue gold button. I think now the jackets and shirts and stuff are all like $4. Actually, it says 5 so I'll still pay 5 for it. So that one's going to be 5 And then this is considered a master's jacket, the, um, the green with gold buttons um, blazer sport coat whatever you want to call it um this is called a master's jacket so these usually do very well 35 45 dollars something like that this one's a stafford it's not a great brand but it doesn't matter because it's a green jacket it's a master's jacket nothing good in the shoes we're gonna pass like kenneth cole and these are cool they've been here for a while these are gbx's let me know if i should actually pick these up guys i've just kind of been leaving them but i'm gonna check out the shirts just a lot of the same stuff. Maybe we'll find a banger. You never know. Homestead. That one's on a on a, a head shirt. This is a golf. That's a golf um, golf course. That's merino wool, but it's in really bad shape. It's just got a lot of pilling on it. Here's another one. This one's silk. So I don't know. The green one looks okay. That one's 100% silk. I don't know what they go for. I think I would look those up before. They're not really that much. 
This is here's another one that's made out of silk. These are actually not in bad condition. I might actually pick these up depending on what they're going to be, what they're priced at. I'm not really sure, but no, no. Pittsburgh, no. Is that an old Franklin? Izod Club, Woolrich, Lanzen, Clemson, Lanzen. Nope. Old Navy, Lanzen. Barracuda. I think this is silk, isn't it? No, that's cotton. I've heard of them, I've seen them before. Weatherproof. This is brand new. This looks like it might be wool or cashmere. Weatherproof, they make decent. Alright, where's the material? Acrylic. Eh. Got me. But I mean, it is brand new. It's a nice sweater. It's actually really soft for acrylic. <clears throat> Maybe I'll look it up. Philip Lynn. I'll have to look that up too. I've never heard of that. So let's look it up. All right. So this brand is kind of like not a very good brand, but I'm thinking about picking up the weatherproof because it is new. Um, it's probably going to sell now either on eBay or Poshmark because I'm going to have it on both. Um, not sure what it is. Four dollars, five, something like that. They don't have it individually priced, so it's going to be whatever it is. So I think I'm going to pick it up. I think I can get 25 for that. All right, guys, this is a Gopher, Gopher Sport. It's got a teddy bear on it. This is from the 80s. Um, I think one sold for 15 plus shipping. I think for what I'm going to get, what I'm going to pay for it, it's probably worth it. It is vintage. Vintage does it does sell. Um, I don't know. It does have some cute colors on it. Maybe I'll go ahead and pick this one up. It is actually nicer than the one that sold. That's a cool looking knit. It's a Fonte, Forte, Forte. Acrylic, uh, made in Korea. So, yeah, yeah. Don't really see anything else, but I guess I'm just gonna get that. Premier. Susan Graver, no. I like to go through a lot of things because you never know. People tell, say the same thing at the bins. They say, you just never stop digging. Well, because there's always something at the bottom of the bin. I always find, like, you never know what's at the bottom of the bin. It could be an iPhone. You know, you just don't know. Be surprised. I think that's a... I thought that was a golf. That's a Karen something, whatever. There's Jordan. It's not the Jordan that I'm thinking of. Not the Air Jordan. That's a Bobby Brook. No, I don't know, guys. There's a couple more things upstairs. Yeah. I'm not even in the mood to go through all these. There is just a lot. Silks, August Silk. That looks like a double R, but it's not. Double R, Ralph Lauren, I wish, right? That's a nice Calvin Klein. It's made in USA, too. There's an old one. It's an actual true vintage. See you guys? I'll probably get like 20 for it. That's not worth that much. You know, some of those types of items, you need to just list them and let them sit. You know, somebody might come along and give me 30 for it, you know, as opposed to someone that only wants to spend 20. People will tell you that. Well, I only have 20 in my account. So, and... It is what it is. All right. That's it. Let's go. 
All right, so the skirts are only $3. They are buy one, get one right now. So what I'm gonna do is, I did see this Talbot one right here. And that one's like a leopard. And that one is a wool blend. It's like a polyester. I think it's wool on the outside. And then the lining, it's probably a wool blend. Yeah, it's a wool blend. And then here's another, another Talbots. Another wool one, really cool. So I'm gonna get those two. And I think I looked at all the other ones. So I don't know if I should do get another pair. That one's chaps. This one might be leather, maybe suede. It's ugly though. It's actually brand new. Briggs, New York. No. So here's another wool. This one is, that one's an Ann Taylor, but it is a, it's not a bad design, but I don't, I think I'm just gonna stick with those two. All right, so this is, sorry guys. This is Vanity Fair. It's kind of hard to do this with a phone. This is a Vanity Fair. Um, nightgown, it's brand new with tags. This is vintage made in USA. And then we're gonna go ahead and pick up these Columbias too, cause these are like brand new. They want 10 for them, but I don't know. I think I can get like, maybe like 40 for them, plus shipping, maybe 35. I think it might be worth spending the 10. So yeah, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this roper up. It's, it's like a women's. It's definitely worthy of the mannequin. And then I'm not really sure what this is. It's just like a long type of cardigan deal. It just says made in India, 100% cotton, but I'm gonna take a chance on that and grab it because I think that I can probably get like 40 or 50 bucks for that. All right, so we're leaving now. It started getting a little busy in there. They're actually bringing stuff in. And um, at the last minute, I did pick up two um, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Um, one was a pants suit and one was a skirt suit. One was like a ruffle, high, low, like really nice. All right, guys, so we're back at the crib. Sorry, I got a phone call and then I kind of forgot about um, finishing that part of the video. So what I did was I had to bring this set home because this is an Asian set. It's like... Um, I wanted to make sure that you could it would still play in English. It does play in English, so we're good to go. This is actually a 21 disc set. This is probably worth more than the 20 disc set which I see selling for about $80. So I have it listed at 85. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for everyone subscribing. We're up to 275. So smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified when I post another video and please subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Peace out.